friends, I'm Smitha blog at Smiling Colors and today I have a different video for you. It's not a tutorial as usual, it's more of a recap of my 100 day project. About almost 2 months ago I started a daily challenge of doing a watercolor piece a day. It could be a watercolor lettering piece, it could be an abstract art or in the recent few weeks I've been doing a lot of watercolor flowers and loving the process. Here is a quick look at the recent handmade cards I've painted. My flowers are not realistic but tend to be more colorful and whimsical. Mixing and matching colors to make a card is the best part of the process. A 100 day project is a great way for you to try something and try and get good and better at it. I have a lot of short videos on my Instagram handle at the shiny nest showing how I painted these cards and you can check them all out. I hashtag the challenge posts with a special hashtag of my own called 100 days of dabbling with watercolors. I will also add a few of my favorite video snippets at the end of this video. But before that, of late I've been getting a ton of questions and messages asking me about the supplies I use in my Instagram videos. So here is a quick walkthrough. I have a bunch of these pre-cut note cards that I've been using. These are the Recollection brand and I picked this up at a Michael's craft store. I like that they come with a matching envelope, but these are made of plain cardstock and not watercolor paper. So I add very little water while painting. My watercolor palette. I bought this at Michael's as well. It's their Artist Lofts brand and it's very inexpensive and great for beginners. The paint feels chalky to the touch, but I love the colors that they come in. I have this brush set by Royal and Langnickel. I usually use the Round Sable 3 brush the most. And I will leave links to all of these in the description box below and over on my blog as well if you're interested. I have been using a regular chipboard tin now, but I just bought this clipboard storage folder as well. It has a nice area right here for my brushes, and when I'm ready to paint, I can clip my note card into place and paint. Inside there is enough space for me to store a couple of extra note cards, my watercolors, and some dual brush pens as well. It's handy and I can carry it around in my bag to the beach or park. I really love it. I bought this black one because I like the contrast of the white note card against black, but they also have a blue one which is a few bucks cheaper. I bought these from Amazon.com and I will leave links in the description box. It has been a challenge for me to try finding time to paint a card each day, especially in the first month. But it has been very satisfying and, I, and nowadays I actually look forward to the 20 minutes that I get to sit and play with color. I hope this video answers some of your questions. I will leave you here with some of my watercolor videos played back to back with some music to keep you entertained as well. Enjoy! Oh,